Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 360, Blood Transfusion Therapy. What blood product would you provide if there is acute blood loss or severe anemia? In case of acute blood loss or severe anemia, you would give packed red blood cells. What effects would packed red blood cells have? Packed red blood cells would increase the hemoglobin concentration as well as oxygen carrying capacity. What blood product would you provide if you want to stop significant bleeding due to thrombocytopenia or qualitative platelet defects? To stop significant bleeding due to platelet problems, you would give platelets. What effect would giving platelets have? The effect of giving platelets would be to increase the platelet count, which would increase the platelet count by about 5,000 platelets per cubic meter per unit. What blood product would you administer in case of disseminated intravascular coagulation, cirrhosis, or warfarin overdose? In these conditions, you would provide fresh frozen plasma. What effect does giving fresh frozen plasma have? Giving fresh frozen plasma will increase the coagulation factor levels. What blood product would you need to administer in case of coagulation factor deficiencies involving fibrinogen and factor 8? To treat coagulation factor deficiencies involving fibrinogen and factor 8, you could give cryoprecipitate. What does cryoprecipitate contain? Cryoprecipitate contains fibrinogen, factors 8, factor 13, von Willebrand factor, and fibronectin. Name all the risks involved in blood transfusion. The risks involved in blood transfusion includes infection, transfusion reaction, iron overload, hypocalcemia due to citrate because citrate is what is used to preserve blood products. Citrate also chelates calcium, hence leading to hypocalcemia. And lastly, blood transfusion can also lead to hyperkalemia. How can hyperkalemia occur with blood transfusion? The way hyperkalemia can occur with blood transfusion is that red blood cells may have lysed if the blood has been sitting around for a while and that would mean that there is high amounts of potassium in the blood and therefore leading to hyperkalemia. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.